All right, we've got uh, the walls primed now. I got that. Um, I put the skim coat of drywall compound on the other day, and uh, because it's winter, it took like a week to dry. Um, you know, it's pretty muggy inside of here. If I open up, it gets too cold. So uh, that finally dried. Um, so we got the primer put on here. Really brightens it up in here nicely. Kind of like that. So working on the framing for the beds. I gotta go pick up my plywood and everything today, but uh, that'll help that get all end all finished up. Started looking at some of the plumbing today too, and trying to kind of pre-route that in my head so I can figure out where that's all gotta go. But just having the paint's pretty cool. Brightens it up a little bit in here. Um, like I said, some of these walls are gonna stay. Those would be behind cabinets and stuff. Uh, it's pretty rough and everything. But uh, in the areas where I did skim coat it, it turned out pretty decent. So I think it might work for a final uh, surface. So anyway, more to come later. Okay, moving along here. I have a uh, cabinet built here. This is actually uh, the closet. It's also going to hold the electrical. Um, so you can see I've got a closet rod mounted in here. Uh, a bunch of um, cleats to put the shelving on all the way through. And then at the bottom, um, actually it's just a little divider down there um, that will hold on to part of the electrical system. Also on the ground over here, I have a little uh, base plate to mount this thing on. I couldn't mount that on um, the cabinet right now because the cabinet is too tall. It's going to be right up to the ceiling. So that three inches gives me room to tip this thing up and, and get it into uh, into position here. So that's what I'm going to do right now is get it stood up. And it clears the ceiling by about an eighth of an inch, which is perfect. This is all just made out of half inch plywood. Uh, pretty lightweight. I mean, probably weighs about the, sh the same as a sheet of plywood. But. Kind of wiggle this into place. And hopefully it'll work. And if it's if it fits right, everything will go on here. Maybe. Oh, except I've got it backwards. That might be a problem. here. Looks like it's gonna work. Yeah, it's just hitting on the cleats on the floor here. I might have to fasten that down temporarily. That's probably what I'll do next here. All right, so I've got this uh, that base is now fastened to the floor, so it's not going to move on me now. Hopefully this will slide right in. Just got to tip it up. Alright. That's pretty much it right there. Tip up a little to pass it to the wall. But not bad at all. But the gap in the back there, that's uh, all the wiring and the, uh, I got a, one pipe that's got to run through there yet. So I left that gap. It's got a little toe kick to it. And then uh, up at the top, it's going to get a piece of trim across it, but well, heck, that fits pretty well. Tipped in there nicely. See, I've got a hole down here at the bottom. That's where the uh, electrical will come up into the panel. Should work pretty well. I should note, too, uh, you know, we put all this insulation in here. We got an inch in the walls. We got two inches in the ceiling. Um, we got snow last week. What well, was about six days ago? Got a couple inches of snow. Uh, and there's still an inch of snow on top of this thing. I'm, I've been keeping this about 53 degrees, between 53 and 60 degrees while I'm out here working. 
I don't leave it running all night or anything, but um, not bad. I mean, to have snow on top of here still is, is pretty good. So pretty happy with that too. It's comfortable in here.